When you're booking something on a calendar, especially if there are multiple people involved, you may want to send notifications, uh, not just as a confirmation, but also a heads up if it's coming up soon, right? A little reminder, maybe a follow up after the event has occurred, um, or even a notification that something has changed or has been canceled and needs to prompt a rescheduling. There are many ways to accomplish this kind of notification system in Bubble. You can either send an email, you can send a text message, you can even create an in-app notification system so that you know users who are frequently coming into the app can see a history um, of all of the confirmations and notifications that are coming in in one place. So with email, Bubble has a lot of built-in capabilities. There's actually a built-in connection to SendGrid as the email service provider. You can, of course, white label the sending domain uh, so that it is coming from your own custom domain. And you can use your own service provider if you'd like. If you want to connect to a different one that you prefer, you can use a plugin to help you with that or a custom API connection. Bubble is very extensible. So as long as the service that you want to leverage offers an API, you should be able to connect to it. Um, and so sending out an email to confirm things, for example, allows you to populate that email with, you know, a date and time, a link to a map, um, you know, a, a summary of what's going to happen during that event, whatever it might be. Now you can also send text messages and with text messages, you will have to connect to um, a third party service to send out that message. A popular one that a lot of bubblers like to use is Twilio. Um, so you'll set up an account with them, get an API key, and again, either use a plugin. There's many plugins out there for Twilio to help you get set up um, quite quickly, or you can use your own custom integration using Bubble's API connector tool. But that way you can send text messages with these reminders and uh, confirmations. Of course, you can create an in-app notification system. So this is really just leveraging your own database, right? So setting up a table that keeps track of all of the different confirmations or alerts uh, that users need to be able to access. And I do want to mention that Bubble has a very powerful backend workflows area where you can schedule things to run at a future date and time. So if you want to schedule a reminder to go out, let's say an hour before an event has occurred or maybe 24 hours before, uh, you can do that, right? A user does not have to be present on a page in order for that email to be sent. They don't have to click on a button. You can set up logic to schedule things to happen. You can also set up recurring logic. So let's say that you have a weekly team meeting uh, and everybody needs to be reminded of it every single week. Uh, you can set that up as well, you know, so that it recurs kind of indefinitely, or if you want to create some rules there so that, you know, at a certain point it stops sending out those notifications. You can allow users to customize whether they want to receive that reminder or not. A lot of this really, again, just comes down to the database and how you create your logic to look at what values are there and what relationships people have to your other records.